my name is Phelps Sainez, and I'm 44 years old. I grew up like, like any other kid out there, um, playing outside, playing with basketball, baseballs, and everything else. Um, I did baseball first. Um, I did that for a couple times, two years, and then I just started skateboarding. And actually, I started biking first. I started doing biking first. We built a ramp. We live in front of the school. So we had a ramp that we jumped off with the, with the bikes and everything else. And next thing you know, I had skateboarders coming to the house. Not one, not two, not three. They came in groups. So I got myself, myself, I got myself a skateboard. So when did you start skateboarding? Probably around 12, 12 years old in the seventh grade. So yeah, that was uh, kind of cool. No. Tell me about like your sponsorships and all the cool things you did skateboarding. Sponsorships was kind of cool. Um, back then we had to uh, make videos to get sponsored, to get notice out there. That's, that's our way of getting out there and showing ourselves what we could do on a skateboard. Um, sometimes contests will do that too as well, but you know, sometimes they're, we don't do good on contests we just do good on film and you know we show that and sometimes they will they will acknowledge you they will call you and you know and that's what that is we, we film so much like like almost every day four five six seven eight hours it's a straight filming um we just do tricks and lines as they call it like two three trick lines and pull it and then we edit it and then we send it on into the video uh to the companies out there and you know if there's a bite and then they'll call you you know they'll tell you hey come out come skate with us you know and sometimes it is who you know out there i mean that's how you know i got by it's it's who you know um you know i did send a sponsor me video and you know they did come out and see me and you know if you perform They'll, they'll like you and you know they'll, they'll put you on flow and next thing you know you're getting free stuff and then next thing you know you're sponsored and then you're you skate for a company you know and you just go from there my memorable moment was maybe like winning a contest for the first time you know being first place or third place or whatever um, it's out there but I mean there's a lot of memorable moments I mean landing a trick that You've been trying for like an hour, or two hours, and you finally land it. That's a memorable moment. You get it on video. That's a memorable moment. It's too many, but you, you know, it's just skateboarding in general is a moment for a lot of things. So I mean, I can, it's really hard to to pinpoint. You know. Tell me about training your son and how he's skateboarding and following your legacy. Oh, uh, Rogan, my son. Um, he he is dedicated right now. He's just been he's been skating. He's been you know he's been skating and just trying to learn how to ollie and do other things. And I just keep telling him you need to stick to the basics. You need to ollie, 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 roll, ollie, and just get good with the basics first, and then move on. I mean, a lot of these kids like to uh, to jump into things, try to do 360 kickflips when they can't even do a regular kickflip. It's it's one of those things you just do one step at a time. And you know, that's what I did growing up, like in the garage for two or three hours. I think every skateboarder had done that before, you know, just training. I mean, it's like any other athlete out there or whatever, they just train. Do you see yourself in Rogan? I do, I see a lot. Me and Rogan, we're about the same age when we started skateboarding. Um, I did baseball first. Um, I thought I was a pretty good baseball player. I, I think he's a lot better better than I was at that age. For him in a way, he was a lot better than me. So I, I would hope he would stick with it. Um, right now, I think skateboarding, it's, it's an individual thing. And you just get better as you practice and practice and practice. And sometimes it's a self-gratifying if you know, when you actually land a trick and when he does land a trick, it's like, yeah. So, uh, hopefully he sticks with it, and, but I don't know, we'll see.